aka Kia the Crafter. I already have about um, 11, 10 ounces here pre-mixed already that we are going to go ahead and do a resin journal or uh, activity book for my grandson for his birthday. Um, I don't know if you, it's late, so I'm trying to get this started as soon as possible because it's already had this resin on deck for about maybe five, maybe about 10 minutes so that didn't already cut down my work time so we gonna move right on along make sure y'all hit the like button subscribe notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new content because we're always uploading new content okay i'm gonna split this up into two and i really only need but I'm going to go ahead and use all of this. Um, maybe about, that's about seven ounces. So that's, I might can start something else. And I'll go ahead and pull this into maybe about two ounces. To another container real quick and hopefully I can use that before it gets too bad and we'll set that to the side quickly and then I have my two uh, different parts here five and about five and we're gonna go ahead and um, mix our color so this is for my grandson and we want to do this in a boy's color I don't want to do a dark, dark blue, but I do want to do a blue. And I had a white paint. That was just out here. Oh, here we go. A few minutes ago. And it just opened right up all on me. I'm going to go ahead and try to clean up some of this off. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix one a light blue and one a dark. And I'm going to put a little bit more in this one because I don't need much of the dark blue as I need of the light. And I'm almost out of my white paint. And I'm going to start with white as the base in both. Start that right up in there really, really good, really quickly. <laughs> and we are using our epoxy store resin for this particular project. I have finished using everything that I have. This one is a little bit more white. So that's going to be perfect for the blue. We're going to go ahead and add about two to three things of blue in here. Because we want this one to be the darker one, the darker color. one kind of a light and I don't think this is going to get too much darker um, 
than what it is. So we might do a white and blue, baby blue color. And that's kind of a milky white. And yeah. So instead of a dark, dark pearl, we're going to do a milky white. I might can pour that in there. And make this a dark blue. Because it don't have that much white in it. It's because of that white. So what I can do is add Ooh, I got two of the same colors. I don't want it to be two of the same. Mm. I could add something to make this purple. Maybe not. Let's add a shade of a, a dot of black. Hold tight. Okay, I'm gonna try this darker shade of blue and see if that gives me a different shade that darkens it up for me. It do makes it just a little bit of a different shade. Maybe I'll stick with that and see if I get another shade of blue in here by adding. Okay, that, that might that might work. We gotta work quick. Again, as I told y'all, I had already. So that's two shades of blue. And that's really what I wanted. Might have turned out better than I thought. So I got the lighter one and then the darker one. And they both should be opaque. Be pouring quickly because it's already starting. I feel it. I just want to make sure there's nothing on my molds. Alright. So I'm going to start at the top. I want the lighter color on the top. Once it get poured, we can go in and clean it, critique it, or whatever. But I want the lighter color on the top because I see some little paint particles here and there. So I know I'm going to have to do some picking through it. That's that one. considered a custom color and when you're doing this for uh, customers you can add a little bit more um, because it's a custom color every little thing as an artist you have to add to your you know situation because that was stressful just a little. Oh, we got it done. All right. 
So I'm going to take this and I'm going to spread this already so it can be already in place. I'm connecting in the areas it needs to connect while I get ready to pour the second part. This one did good because it had I started it, so this would probably be can take some move it. See how I did that and just taking it and moving it over and then filling it back in. We're coming with, with our second color, and I'm gonna start this one towards the bottom. I'm working my way up towards the other color. Oops. I just like to keep it neat as possible. And then we'll come in and fill in and combine the two colors. Get closer together. some custom pages already ready to go that I pre-designed um, months ago because I had supposed to been had done this project. I'm just making sure we're getting everything out. And that's what makes the journal so unique and uh, for every person is the ends, what goes on the inside as well as the designs on the outside. But Absolutely what's on the inside makes the makes the journal. The outside just keep them interested. Okay, so we have our two colors, which is so dope. They are not really dark, so it's just mixing color. Experiment. And I'm glad the experiment came out good. So now, I'm going to take my spatula here and I'm going to move them closer towards each other. And then blend them. And that's just taking it back and forth into the colors blend together creating this beautiful situation like so once they touch it'll all form in together and level out And 
this one has a little bit more blue so we're gonna take some of it out and put it over here put it up here and then that way that just kind of thins that out a little bit So we got it poured. It's poured before it got too late. And so now I'm just going in and picking out some of these paint. Um, I guess it's just dry, dried up paint that was in the blue. Okay. Little toothpick spork. Uh, skewer they work really well where you're not removing the resin you literally removing the debris it will pick it up out of there so easily Just to get it off. And while you're doing this, it's settling up. The bubbles is rising to the top. So when you get ready to fight, uh, put your either spray it with your alcohol or um, use the heat. Either way, it's ready. wherever I see something that may be in my may look like like that right there because what they'll do is sink down to the back of the to the bottom of the mold and you won't be able to see them Especially when you're dealing with opaque colors. So that was on my fault. Um, the paint again. I didn't have my paints forever. And as long as they working, hey, I don't have, I don't I don't complain. So they all and I'm just cleaning that out. All right, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, so we're going to fire this up. See what we have. It just buzzes the bubbles. It's got a lot of iron up to do because it is a huge surface. Well, not huge, but quite big. And it has the paint in it. So 
so you need to watch it for a minute because bubbles is going to be rising to the top for a minute but y'all this color is so pretty for a boy so I will definitely be trying to create something similar to this again I do not like this um, torch. I'm going to get a new one. It's not easy on the fingers. I'm still seeing little small micro bubbles forming so I'm just making sure like I said it takes a minute when you got the colorants in it because that changes and alters the resin so you might have a little bit more bubbles of it coming together and and you know the molecules and whatnot but just Keep firing it over it. It'll all come together. That's pretty and clean and clear. Oh, I love they resin. I love it. I love it. we gonna fire this up this one I oh cuz then that'll move my resin so I probably will not put this in the oven right away I'm gonna let this get hard and then pop it in there later so that it, it can cure I'm gonna let it sit right out here like it is and then I will um, pop it in there once it gets a little harder and cure over time because the reason why I say that is because I don't want it to move to the center. And most often, when resin uh, cures fast, it moves. As it's curing, it kind of moves nucleus, nucleus. So it moves to a center. And so... If it stays like this, then it's less likely that it will create that because it's not being cured so quickly. I found that if you let it air cure, sometimes it won't create that nucleus. Sometimes I just don't have time to let it cure, but... And then other times you can see the when you use white as a base or a colorant or the opaque paint, you will see like a little um, separation. Like I can see some of the white particles. Well, not particles, but some of the white paint separating. So I'm going to pull it out because it's like sitting right there. Or stir it in or something. It's just coloring. It's this is gonna be cute. I found some really cute um, 
embellishments to put on it so y'all stick with me come back we'll finish it all right guys so we are back with the binders they came out nicely um and so now we're going to decorate it so we can go ahead and put our top coat on it and um keep it moving right we're trying to get this done today so i'm gonna go ahead and put my logo sticker on get that on out the way make sure y'all hit that like button that subscribe button that notification bell so that you guys can be notified when i upload new content okay go ahead and hit that for me okay so we're gonna always use your product branding labels i created these uh, may stickers just out of regular sticker paper um and they just sit right nicely right there at the bottom pretty much of all my journals i found these because he loves lebron james i found these stickers at the dollar tree they, this is the only one they had so of course we're going to use these to decorate his his little book that way this will last him forever he loves lebron james so and then the finest in the Space Jam is just everything. So I kind of know how I want him to go on here. I'm going to make sure I'm sticking down properly. Nope. Look at his arm without messing him up. So because of his arm, I got to make sure that we are, hold on, this is a little bit more difficult than I thought. We are not too, so I should do it this way, that way I can kind of lay him. Nope. 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 We gotta go over just a smidge more. This is where I need him to be. Let's see if I can. Make that happen. Nope. I'm glad this is not a paper sticker. This is a um, wall decal, actually. So, I'm able to lift it up and put it back down. Just got to make sure the feathers part is out as far as it can go. The feathers part of the sticker. Because it's so weird. And I don't want it to kind of be in the... Hold on, let me lay him out so I can see what we're doing. This is hard. Cause it kind of slants, kind of slant. So we'll put him right here, maybe. I had to crack it, put him over just the hair, but that's where he's going. I just gotta take him over. Just a little bit. So, yeah. I didn't even know it was a wall decal. I just saw it and was like, I know I can use it. And grab it. Gotta go over some more. This is gonna be so cute, though. Once I can get him on here. Right? See, maybe if I 
taking from the bottom like so boom got it all right i think that's what i saw earlier but i want to make sure he go on smooth Oh, he cute. Okay. Okay, so he on there. We got him. Y'all see that? That is looking so cute. He loved basketball. He loved LeBron James. So I think Granny, I think Gigi is winning. I would like to cut that out. Let me see if I can exacto knife that real quick. Just to kind of get some of this extra. And I'm just going to do it lightly. Just to get some of this extra um, edge out of here. Because we don't need it. Let me see if I can get that out. And I'm sure that the resin will fill that right on up. But that, that just looks a lot better to take some of that out. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Actually, can take some of this out too. This is just a little excess sticker that I'm getting out of here. So when he look at it from one side, you can't see all that. Oh, that is so cute. All right, now, before I put any more of the stickers on here, I'm going to go here and lay his name down with the, the outline of it, which is right here. And I'm going to put that right in the middle at the top. I'm going to go ahead and put his name on it. And that's just how that came out. I got several pieces of tape on here. And that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this one because we're going to be lifting it up in a minute. Let me start from the top and then that should give me all of that. And then this bottom piece. Come on, give it to me. All 
right? So there we have that. Take that on. And we got that part. Now I have the other part that says book. I was going to make it say activity book, but I want this to last him a while. So if he just want to not do have activities in here, he don't have to. It's just his book. It'll last him throughout his school career and his parents, my son and his mom can change, you know, put use it as putting regular pages in here but this is his and when i'm gone he got something that gg made specifically for him and now i'm gonna layer it with um with his name and book got this part out the way and i'm just scraping over the name so that the cricket paper will pick it up Just gonna layer it right in there on top, giving that a nice outline, and there we have it. Make sure I put the whole thing down. That's cute. That's cute. I like it. I like it. I think it came out nice. That's nice. Should I leave the book white? Just leave it like that. I think that looks more cartoonish. Um, leaving the, the book part just say book. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do it as it's intended. Oh, that is so cute. Y'all, look at that. It's looking like he's shooting. Ah, that is so cute. That is so cute. Okay, so we got that part. Now all we have to do is add some more of the stickers and the characters, which we're going to definitely add um, Bugs Bunny. Definitely add bugs to the front. We'll put bugs. It's down here in the corner. And the resin is going to coat everything in. So. bugs down there we're gonna put um who else we gonna put somebody that can fit right in that part well, i guess Sylvester and tweety can fit in that part i think they might not be able to Might not be able to fit. I don't know. Nope. They are not. But they fit. 
it right here. Yes, dope. Okay, can Daffy fit there? He might can fit there. See if Daffy can fit. And if so, I can actually take some of his feet off. Not his feet, but some of the vinyl that's around here. I can cut some of that off. Because we don't need all of that. And maybe place him Can he fit right there? And he can. Yes. Okay. So it looks like they having a nice little game. I'm not going to put the girl on here because it's for a boy. All right. We'll throw the little tomb squad on here and some of the logos. Well, since he's on here, we'll go ahead and put his name on here. It says LeBron James, so we'll put him this little logo of his name right there. We're going to put the basketball logo on the back to make it cohesive. So we'll do the basketball back here. Because the back don't, it don't really need much. And then this little logo, this little sticker. Take some of this vinyl off. And let him make it where it'll fit better. Wherever we place it, so we'll place it in this little void right there. One more that says Space Jam, but I don't want to put Space Jam on here because, yeah, we'll leave that one on here. But it just, because it just, it just transcends with time. So this is his book. Oh, this is too cute. And then that's it. We're going to get ready to put the uh, top coat on it so it can do what it needs to do. And show y'all the pages. Oh, his pages is cute too. And we're gonna get it popping. Hold tight while I mix up some resin. All right, guys. So I done mixed up about four, a little over four ounces, just a smidgen because I poured a little bit and I don't want to pour it back or try to do anything else. But 
here it is I'm gonna get ready to coat the top and we just need a little bit on each one I figure about two ounces per side normally is what it would take to coat it. Don't like to go. I like to go right up to the edge of the mold. Most times it have a little part where it won't go past it. And then sometimes I over pour or it may travel. And yeah. I'm hoping this is enough. This is so cute. And I hope the first of many to come once they get out. I would say this would be for ages three and up, right? Two and a half, right when you begin to start teaching language and colors and things like that. That is what this, as far as this particular for a kid in this age, you can use these for so many different things. You can create so many different things and put it on the inside. I hope this gives, I, got, I, don't, I, I didn't, did I get this idea from somebody? I seen somebody with a learning table with a learning table and I guess I thought about creating a learning binder because I didn't have a table mold and so that's how we came up with this idea and then later on ended up buying a table mold but it's like super is big and I know it's going to be heavy which I'm going to make him a learning table with it that will be my project with that I will be doing a video for it I'm always buying molds because I just I don't know if I'm, what, something is going to take off something I create is going to take off the, the journals do pretty good um, I get a lot of orders for the journals and my purses. Some of the other, and some of the tray sets, not so much unless um, I'm at a pop up. They tend to do pretty good at the pop ups. Okay, I think nope, not right here. I was about to say I think I had it all filled in around the edges, but I didn't. And then I can just go from there. Okay, it is now though. Okay, that one is laid. Um, because my table is wopsided, I'm gonna turn it around. Just a little bit. It's not that bad, but I can tell and you never know until you're doing a project or something like this that requires it because I never knew yeah that's 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 perfect all right let's get ready to do this other one Let's 
scrape it off. I'm gonna leave something behind just in case I need a little bit. But we're gonna do the same thing to this side. to the edge. touching and then we can see what we need start filling that water in just go to this edge this edge is over here and then we'll see what we need I already know it's gonna need some See what we got. Don't have much, but we're gonna let it have it. Just a little bit more now. Got maybe another scraping or so. Get it built in. It's gonna need some more clear. I'm trying not to pour no more. I really am. I'm trying to get every little bit out. Just that enough. And one last little scrape here. And that is going to be it. The fat lady has sound. Or the thin lady, or however, I don't want to offend anybody. Stretch that real good. That's perfect. That is perfect. That last every little drop can help. 
I promise you. Up. Let that sit. And we're gonna heat it with the fire. It should be ready for presentation at least. And then um, by this evening, and that's the that's the good thing about the oven is you can it it just accelerates your productivity. I'm cleaning my cup. And we're going to get ready to pop this in the oven and we will be completely done. All we do is fill the pages, which they have been printed. They are almost ready. And that's going to be it. I'll show y'all the finished product in my moment. Let's clean up my bubbles. They're nice and clear, especially around your lettering decals and whatnot so most of my attention or i want to make sure that these decals and everything is super super clear and free of bubbles because that's what's going to draw the eyes Oh, this is so cute. I know he's gonna like it. Clean up all the bubbles. Perfectly clear image. All right, that looks good so far. I'm gonna come back and hit it one more time. Get this side. Put this baby in back in the oven and it's gonna it's so cute. Vicky came out so nice guys. He is going to love it. I hope you do. As long as he like had like LeBron James is still his basketball super person or whatever it will last a lifetime all right and there we have it let's make sure we have everything out from over here one more time special attention and we'll let this sit for a few minutes making sure ain't no surprise bubbles or nothing gonna pop up and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven get it ready and then we'll come back demode and go from there make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe button notification bell all that good stuff okay right here See? All right, guys, we are back with the mold after we have decorated it. This is the back side. It's already pretty hard, so I want to go ahead and demold. And then while I'm waiting on the other part to get as hard and uh, see how it came out. Time is of the essence. All right, and so as you can see, this is the inside part, which is not going to be really seen much, but 
that's the paint chips that I told you they sink down to the bottom and it just kind of make it looks kind of funky and cute but yeah that's how that is but that's the other side it came out nice we're gonna go ahead and debris the edges real quick so we can um, clean up and get it to the next part and I'm just being that this didn't have any glitter it is just debris so smooth Nobody to cut themselves or scratch themselves. Y'all can see it's still getting hard. But I want to go ahead and at least get it completed and then it can just kind of gel as it's sitting. Alright. And so that's one. I'm going to go ahead and get these ends nice and smooth. And I'm just smoothing out the corners because they sharp. But other than that, everything looks really good make sure no rough spots it's a little rough right there back down so oh wait one last thing let's clear clear the hole out one just one hole needs to be clean nice and easy like so and that's one that's done I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side we'll come back and put it together okay all right guys we are back with both front and back they both are pretty pretty hard they still got a little bit of more curing to do but we're gonna go ahead and put it together so we're gonna go ahead and put the rings in I chose the vintage looking rings these are more like a brass copper or brass type of ring that I'm gonna use I'm gonna put all three of these in one Everything came out really nice. And now we're going to open it up. And we're going to unlock it on the inside so that we can put the pages in. It. And so there we have it. It's open. Now, the inside cover page will have left hand, right hand, all of the body parts. So that'll go right here. And this is again for ages three. You can customize it for whatever age you want. Here is his tracing pages to trace his name so he can learn to write his name. Front and back. He has a divider with his colors on there, which he knows most of these already, but it's still good to have. And then shapes. His numbers, so that he can trace his numbers front and back and learn them, learn what they look like, not just how to say them. 
and then his divider is the days of the week he can tr trace these as well with a dry erase marker or um, washable markers as well as the days the month of the week of the year on the back days of the week month of the year so it's all learning then he has his alphabets front and back to trace and identify teach him about his vegetables vegetable choices how to pair vegetables um, fruits how to pair fruits you can teach him that and this is a good tool to have just to spend time in educational with your kid or grandkid or niece nephew then I created some color pages for him so I made a boy with junior on the shirt black boy joy so these are his color pages that we created my name is junior and on the back of that again another black boy joy because we didn't have but a few um, Mickey Mouse basketball Mickey Mouse regular Mickey he likes Mickey so he likes cars I love cars this is a truck so he has that these is all of the color pages we did this is a Jeep and on the back of that this is a school bus so even when they're coloring and having fun it's still a good learning tool for the kid he likes baseball so I put baseball there and then on behind this one it is I love cars again his own basketball court miss my basketball court and it has his name on it and then on the back it has dunk so that one's on there a repeat of some of the images to just kind of fill it up give him a couple color pages then we have addition facts up to fours so one through four addition facts and then all of the subtraction tables you know just taking right on up to kitty kid kindergarten kindergarten or first grade and then some writing pages created just for him and then of course product branding page in the back that will be the final page his writing pages and his journal or book I want to call it a journal for him. his book is done and there you have it hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new exciting content this is so cute I love it I love it all right catch you on the next one